Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Blender Insight and this time I was thinking that we should do this famous herringbone pattern that you can see on floors and uh, I will only do the pattern and not the wood for this tutorial anyway so how we should think about this is that it it is rectangles and every rectangular area is offset a bit from its previous rectangular area and then everything is like mirrored on the other side and merged together and that is basically it it's even easier to think about this if you just turn this image like 45 degrees because then you get like uh, more like a star that goes up uh, with this so you don't have to think about the rotation and we can take we can do it like that and then add a rotation as a last point here. So first of all, try to do this. And I think I just start with a simple square and then squeeze it together a bit. So we start with a texture coordinate. So shift A, input, texture coordinate. And if I take the UV to the base color, you can see that we have this with zero here and one here. And as soon as we do a tile or a square or something like that, that is symmetrical, we would like to move this center or this zero point to the center here. And I have shown that in numerous tutorials, but you use a subtract here and multiply, and then you also add an absolute. So we can do it step by step. So Shift A and convert the vector math, change it to a subtract, change this to 0 0.5, which means that I now have negative uh, 0 0.5, positive 0 0.5 and then I multiply it with 2 which means that I then increase the range so it will be negative 1 to positive 1 and then I would like to take away the negative so I add an absolute so shift D and an absolute and now it looks similar in all directions so we can create our little square here and then we separate XYZ, so separate XYZ, and we can just use a maximum here. So Shift A, uh, convert the math, and change it to max. Put X on the top and Y in the bottom here, and if I show it, it looks like this. But now it's darker in the center, and we would just like to reverse that, so we can just add a subtract with one here or one subtracted with this. So shift D, subtract, and we have it like this. And if I put one, we have like a square here. Now I would like to change this from a square to a rectangular thing. And to do that, we change uh, the starting point here a bit. So first of all, I think we just duplicate it because it's easy to see then. And if we are doing tiles, we do like this, that we add a scale here. And then we add a fraction to split everything up. And we put it in here. And if I now change it to two, we get two like this. So, and if I change it to three, I get it like this and so on. So this is what we should change, not having a scale here but we should have a multiply because we are not multiply it scale is more like I multiply in X and in Y this amount so what I will do is change the scale to multiply and multiply X and Y in different amounts so if I change multiply change it to multiply put it to 4 here and 4 here we get 4 times but if I just change things here you can see that it shrinks and so on and then it's about the ratio of the height and width. And I think it's about one here and four in the length. So in that case, we get 12 and three. So something like this. And then I also think we should take away the pyramid form here. So that we can use a map range for. So shift A, convert the map range, put that in and we just increase or decrease the from max here and now you can see also if we go closer that this part here is a bit wider because now we have not the same height and width so 
uh, math goes um, gets a bit distorted with the maximum so we can add something here to even it out so take this one shift d for instance change it to like a multiply and if i change this you can see we change it in this direction so it could be that we put it in the top instead because then we change it in this direction so that will work for us so if it's uh, higher than one it goes here so it should be just a bit under so something 0 0.95 0 0.96 or 94 i don't know something like that and we can change this to uh, make more and uh, greater than so shift a converter math because we don't need to have so nice edges here we just need on or off and then we don't need a map range we can just use uh, less than or greater than and change it here so if i put in a greater than then we have it here and then we can change it and don't then it's easier to get it perfect here so then we can see that yeah nine two nine three it depends on where you put in what you put in at the threshold here so this and this are working together to make it correct here so we take away the map range and now i think we have enough starting material for making the next step which i think should be the offset here so then every rectangular piece should be offset and i think it should be offset one here of uh, four lengths so like one fourth and to do that we add something here before the fraction and what we add is a floor to get all the integers all the uh, numbers without decimals so we add a floor and then we separate x y z like this and now what i would like to do is that i would for every row i would like to move it in the x direction but for every row means that we start with the y direction and then we add it to the x direction so start here and then i add a multiply because i need to say the, how much the offset should be in the x direction and it should be one fourth so one fourth like this and then it's 0 0.250 and then we just add that in before the fraction here so shift d and change it to an add and then i also need a combine here so shift a converter and a combine xyz and this should be in the x direction so if i put it in here we now get the offset it's perfect so everything is fixed right now and what i would like to do after that is more or less to remove uh, parts of this so we have in this direction so everything is leaning this direction then we have in that direction which is something else and the easiest way to put the other direction in is to make some space for that so we make this like black here just empty everything and then we can just use this all over again and mirror it and connect those two together so to make that happen we can take away the uv because if uv is black there is no way for the uv to know where we should put anything so then it becomes black so we can like clean it up every second uh every second tile or rectangular piece here and to make that we we can just copy this floor or separate shift d like that and in but instead of using the y we should use the x because now we are not checking the rows we are checking here in the x direction that every second should go away and since it's every second we should also use a modulo so we can take and press shift a convert the math and we change it to flawed modulo so flawed modulo can get a bit closer so you can see flawed modulo and we put that a two and we put that here and now we should use this after the add here so we get the offset included in 
this when we take away the spaces here. So after this add, we then add this as well. So we can move this. So we get some room. So, and now we just can put that in. So we can just copy this one, Shift D. And we use a multiply because um, uh, now you can see when we have multiply of zero, it has no clue what to do. So everything is just black. If we put in some value here, we then can make everything happen. But we shall not do it so complex. What we would like to do is always have one in this direction. And then we would like either to have either one or zero here. So every second will be one and every second will be zero. So we take it away. And all we have to do really now is to add a combine x, y, z. So we just take this one, shift D, and put this to one here and put this to the y and take it in like that and we succeeded so now we have some space for this when we are like turning it like 90 degrees or whatever it will be here so i think we have done everything we need here but we will reuse this and the best way to reuse it is to do a node group out of it so we take everything be outside so we we do not use the texture cornet and we do not use the principle, but everything between here. So select everything, Control G to make a node group out of it. And I also think that we should be able to change the scale a bit. So um, these here will then be connected here. And to make it easy for us in the future, we should just call it scale and then it should be changed automatically here so we don't change the height and width on these or the ratio. And to make that happen, we can use a combine XYZ, so shift A, converter, combine XYZ, put that in here and change it to 3 here and 12 here. And now we can just take this X to the output. But we can change this name here from X to something else. So we go to the group tab, double click on X and just call it scale. So now we have scale here and here it will be that times four. So it's a multiply here. So drag out, right multiply, take it in, change that value to four and take it to the Y here. So now we have everything in and everything looks fine. And all we have to do is select the group input and press tab. And then we have it like this. So we can take it together a bit. So it's easy to work with. And then we can of course change the name of this if we want to. So just select it, get the properties and call it whatever you want. It could be something simple like rectangles or if you need some more creativity go ahead to write whatever you want. Okay, so what we should do now is to rotate this to be able to change this uh, so it goes in another direction. So we can just take a UV and then vector rotate. So vector rotate like that. But now we have this in 0 to 1. So the center to make that happen so it rotates in the center we should change the center point to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and now we can take these rectangles and if i look at them they now are like this because we don't have any changes on the angle but if i change the angle you can see it rotates so now we need to put them together so we can use a maximum, so shift A, convert the math. And we use a maximum. Now, this doesn't look perfect. We can rotate, but it's not perfect because we are like, we need to mirror it in some way. So to do that, then we can just add a multiply after this that negates the y direction and then we get it mirror so if i press shift a here then go to converter vector math and change it to multiply let's put this to one 
but I put this to a negative one, then we get something else here. And if I now rotate, then I think it will match perfectly here. So with an angle of 270, we have this floor pattern. But now I also need to rotate everything. So we do another rotate, but that we do in the beginning before we go into the calculation. So we can just take this one, Shift D, and take the UV to the vector, and take this to that one, and take this to this one, and then we can rotate everything here. So if we just put 45 degrees here, we get it in the same direction as we have in our image here. So now everything is fixed and we can also add scale here. Uh, so shift A input value. So we can use that as a scale. So if I put three here, then I can put the scale to here and here and nothing should be changed. And then I can change scale here. But you can see it works very strange. And that is because we are using two of those and they should be matched together and it will only be matched together when you use a, a odd number here. So one will work, two will not work, but three will work, five, five will work, seven will work and so on. And that is a limitation here, but it's not so hard to handle. So you have to select seven or five or three, but that is the only limitation that you have here. So that is the base to get this. Then you can, of course, add a lot of nice uh, wood texture and make these a bit more narrow on the edges and all that stuff. But I can show that how you can handle all these things with wood and so on in other separate tutorial, I think, because that will be better than to mix it with this. OK, so. Uh, Hopefully you learned something how to think when you create this pattern and uh, I just say as usual, uh, see you later and bye for now.